And now that takes us to a look at the weather prospects, of course. Uh, let's get all the latest details wherever you are in the country. Helen Willits has those. Hi, Helen. Hi, Jane. You may wonder why I'm starting with a frosty picture. I want to talk about the big contrast we've had in our weather so far this year. So we started the year fairly standardly. February, though, was the driest February in 30 years. Swiftly followed, flipped the coin to one of the wettest marches on record. Then we had a lot of cool weather for a time through early spring. It took a long time to warm up. Eventually it did in May. And then by the time we got to summer, we had the hottest June on record. And what's interesting about our weather trends is they're coming in blocks of about four to six weeks. And of course, that flaming June has long disappeared now. Temperature's about average, but it's an unsettled picture. And these blocks of weather are often determined by our upper level winds, the jet streams. They drive our day-to-day -day weather. And at the moment, they're driving in low pressure after low pressure. It's been like that since the beginning of July. And it looks like the next four or five days, we'll see further very unsettled weather heading our way. We're actually monitoring what's going on across the channel because those showers may well head towards SW19, so can't rule out a shower at Wimbledon. We've certainly got a lot of heavy downpours around crossing parts of Wales and the Midlands right now and further north. Perhaps not as showery as it was yesterday in Northern Ireland, but equally as heavy showers around squally winds, hail and thunder, Slightly less humid than yesterday, notably in the south, but there is still quite a brisk southwesterly wind blowing here. We've changed our wind direction in the north. It's coming into the north and west, and that's going to continue to pack the showers in, particularly across the northern half of the country overnight. They may ease just a little bit further south and here too, because we've lost that humidity, a more comfortable night, I think, for sleeping. I certainly found it quite uncomfortably muggy last night. So we go into a slightly fresher day tomorrow, even in England and Wales, but again, just clusters of showers. It looks like they'll be lengthy and more frequent further north you are. But again, because the wind is still a bit of a feature of the weather, it's going to push those showers further eastwards, push them through, but they could still be heavy with hail and thunder. But between them, we'll still get temperatures around about the low 20s to high teas, which is about average, actually, for the time of year. We go into Thursday and perhaps a little ridge of high pressure might give us slightly fewer showers in the south, but some heavy ones in the north. And then we've got, again, temperatures with a bit more sunshine in the south, 22, 23. But there on in, we look out to the Atlantic once again for our next area of low pressure. You can see the isobars tightening, those lines of equal pressure, which means windy weather as well as wetter weather rolling its way in for Friday and for the weekend. As ever, we'll keep you updated. Mm -hmm. Helen, thank you very much. Helen Willits there.